Hey guys, Chris, I'm sorry. I uh, want to show you all this review over the M4A1. Uh, I look at the gun as a more powerful ACR, and it basically is. It has a little less accuracy because it's a fire rate, I believe it's more. But uh, it's actually a very good gun. Uh, I've done multiple 1v3 clutches with this, and it's a very good gun. I, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite. First off, you have no attachments to start off with. Two shot headshot, but it has stomp and fire pro, so you have to remember that. It's a good gun to start off with. And uh, the grenade launcher is actually pretty good for the beginners. Uh, red dot or holographic. I prefer red dot, but yeah. there we are. Silencer is actually pretty good if you're playing hardcore and don't want to be hurt, or you're playing a regular and just don't want your red dot to be seen. I could have really used that much in pub, but by what I was playing with it in here, I actually liked it. FMJ, I don't really think it's worth it to take away the accuracy because you don't have a red dot. Let's use them well. But the shotgun attachment is actually very good. It has great range and pretty good damage. Uh, like I said, uh, holographic or red dot, either one. I don't really like holographic, I like red dot. Then the heartbeat, I don't use because many people on GB use Ninja. Thermal is actually good for the snowy maps. And extended mags is actually very good, especially if you're trying to pick off people. Thanks. Bye.